hello everyone welcome back to the tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix squad the game is crashing at startup it is not launching or won't launch freezing and stuttering low fps drop stuck on loading screen black screen and all these kind of issues and how we can fix this app so let's move to the workaround the first one is all about if you have this particular issue you need to start with a simple restart Sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue. So all you need to do is just a simple restart and that is what you need to do. For that we just need to go over here in the start. Just click on this icon. Go for a restart. Once you're done with the restart just go ahead and this is what you have to do. So this is a simple step. This is not going to work for sure but you can try this out for definitely that's going to bring you a lot of things. So start with a simple restart and that is what you have to do. Next one is all about, we need to verify integrity of game file, that is what we have to do. Now for that we just need to click over here, right click and go to properties. Now for go to local file, now click on verify integrity of game file. So as you can see the game is around 74.96 GB, that's going to take a little bit of time. But the verify integrity of game file fix a lot of issues like, if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues are fixed by using this particular step that's called verify integrity of game file. So you can try this out for sure without any issue. Just go for verify integrity of game file. Once after that, just launch the game and try to play this app. Next step is all about, we need to launch the game in the installation folder. That is what we need to do. For launching the game in the installation folder, we have two steps. One, we can launch the game from here itself. Uh, I mean, uh, we have a shortcut from this team, we can navigate to it. Another one is we can go to the installation folder using File Explorer. So I'll show you how to go with the File Explorer because File Explorer for navigating to the game installation folder, which in the File Explorer has a lot of things. So uh, we need to know these steps down the road. So I'll show you this for that. Just click on the File Explorer here. Now from here, go to this PC. Now go to local to see. Now from here, keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam. Now from here, go to Steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, we need to go to squad folder. Just open this and from here, you can launch the game. This is what you can launch the game from the installation folder. This is the one step. Regarding the step which I mentioned, uh, moving this to this particular step in the Steam, for that, just right click over here, go to properties, go to local file. Now from here, go to browse. When you click on browse, you can very easily redirect to the same. As you can see this PC, we can go to local disk C. Now from here, go to program file x86. Keep scrolling down. Uh, now from here, go to Steam, Steam apps common. So as you can see the installation path, it is same. So you can launch the game from here itself. So we have two methods. Easily you can go to installation folder from the Steam. Another one is you can go to the installation folder from the this particular one that is called the file explorer. Next one is we need to run the game as an administrator. For that reason, we have to uh, go to the installation folder. So let me show you once again, right click, go to properties. Now go to local file, click on browse. You are redirected to the installation folder. Now from here, you have to select the application, right click and go to show more options and go to properties, go to compatibility. Now click on run this program as an administrator. Now go for apply and go for OK and launch the game. That is going to work for you as well. So many people when they run the game as an administrator, this did work out for them. You can try this out as well. So parallelly, you can also run the game in compatibility mode. For that, we just need to click over here, go to show more options and go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, go to the compatibility mode. Now from here, just click on this one, run this program in compatibility mode now from here you can go for first one we can go for windows 7 go for apply and go for ok and try to launch the game if windows 7 is not working change this to windows 8 as well so you can go over here go to compatibility change this to windows 8 now go for apply and go for ok and try to play the game that is going to work for you as well you can try this out as well so uh, once after done with this after running the game as an i mean launching it an administrator and also running in compatibility mode if still the issue is persisting i request you can change this which means we can go over here change just change over here you can go to the compatibility just remove this because for some users what happens is the issue became more severe 
so you can change this up and also you can remove the run this program as an administrator as well now from here go to apply and go for ok just remove everything now launch the game that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to change the windows language to english for that we just need to go over here so hence if you are not in the english language if you are using any native language you need to change it for that we just need to go over here to the search now from here go to settings now from here go to time and language over here go to language and region now from here as you can see what you need to do is you just need to click on add language and you have to select the language and you have to change it because that is going to work for you as well because changing the language did work out for many users and you can try this out next one is all about make sure that the country and region should be correct as well for that we just need to click over here you can see the country i'm from india so i have to select the respective one or else we'll be having trouble so just change this up and make sure the date and time both these things should be completely done so over here as you can see the time zone should be correct that is it should be uh, turn it on as well as uh, time zone should be turn it on as well this is an important step so you have to do the same so once this being set into both you just have to close this and you have to go back and try to play the game if this is not working we have to move to the next one that is launch the game using alt and tab that is what you need to do for that we just need to go over here what you need to do is we just need to uh, go over here now when you're launching the game just press alt and tab together this did work out for many users and you can try this out as well so just press alt and tab together while launching the play button that is going to work for you as well that's what you have to do next one is all about we need to delete it, the save game file if it's already there for that we just need to go over here in the file explorer just go to documents now over here you will be able to find the folder on squad so if you find the folder on squad you just have to uh you know you just we need to delete the folder and once after that you will be losing all the progressions but that is fine once after that just go back now frame here try to play the game as well next one is all about we need to add the allow the game uh, file to windows security for that reason we have to go over here in the search now frame here we need to go to control panel now frame here go to windows defender now frame here go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we need to keep scrolling down and navigate a squad so keep scrolling down now from here as you can see if you find squad over here on the s if you find the squad over here as you can see so over here as you can see the squad is should be both should be checked that means it should be marked and there is one more step if it's not there if it's not it's not added you just need to click on hello another app just need to click on browse now from here go to this pc select local disk c now from here keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder once again now from here go to steam folder now go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here we need to is that you just need to go over here in the squad now from here you just need to click on this one and go for open now go for add so you'll be getting error because it's already added now once you're done with this one so just remove everything i mean just uh if it's already there do not add this once after that just close this and go back and try to play the game that is going to work for you next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices if it's connected so as you can see most probably you might be connected to the controllers you might be connected to the multiple monitors you know those all are causing the issue which is happening right now so what you need to do is you just need to remove everything so if uh, any uh, logitech wheels are connected if any uh, you know multiple monitors are connected controllers are connected just remove everything and once you're done with this one just launch the game after game is successfully launched connect back to controllers and try to play the game that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to uh, perform a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search now go to system configuration now from here go to services now go to hide all microsoft services once after that just go for disable all now go for apply and go for ok and try to play the game that might ask you for a restart in some cases if they're asking for a restart just go for a restart and once after that you need to try to play the game next one is all about we need to disable the steam overlay for that we just need to go over here in the game squad right click and go to properties 
over here make sure this is uh, uncheck i mean you need to uncheck this one that is an important step uncheck this and once after that you just need to close this and you need to try to play the game next one is we need to disable all the overlay applications as well as overclocking applications for that we just need to go over here in the start right click and go to the task manager because we need to talk about this in the very detail as by, like as you can see over here the google chrome screen recorder steam task man these are the things which is actually i'm running here but there are 83 apps so we need to filter this out so the first one let me talk about the overlay application so overlay applications are like discord uh, nvidia geoforce experience etc are the dis, uh, overlay applications and if you find anything like discord over here you just need to go over here and you have to go for end task that is what you have to do because you know overlay applications drain out a lot of performance that is why we always used to recommend just remove everything from the over, over i mean uh, in the background next one regarding the overclocking applications what we need to do is we just need to do like this we need to remove uh, some uh, apps like you know river tuner msi afterburner these things are called overclocking applications you know they drain out a lot of performance because if they run in the background our ram which is of your pc or which the performance is being utilized for these apps as well that is causing the crashing issue not launching freezing and stuttering for everything so just close overlay as well as overclocking applications and that is going to work for you as well the next one is all about we need to go for run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search now go to graphics settings now from here as you can see here i have already added many games so we just need to add the game as well for that we just need to click the browse now from here we just need to go to this pc go to local disc c now keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now from here go to steam apps from here go to common now from here we need to go to squad now from here we need to click on this one and go for add so right now as you can see it is added right so once it is added if it is added you just have to click on the options and over here as you can see this being let windows decide now you need to change frame let windows decide to high performance change this to high performance so then only the graphics card will be utilized when you launch the game once after that go for save then close this and try to play the game as well that is going to work for you next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory for that we need to go over here in the search we need to go for view advanced system settings now from here go to advanced once again now go to settings once again go to advanced go to change now over here as you can see what we need to do is over here as you can see just click on the custom size so what happens is if you find the initial size as well as maximum size we need to give the value so over here as you can see uh, under the virtual memory so what happens is uh, over here if you uncheck this you'll not be able to select the local disk so you have to uncheck this and make sure that you need to check the local disk where the game is installed so uh, you need to check this if you check this you will not be able to select the local list so make sure this is unchecked and select the local list where the game is installed now give the value for initial size as well as maximum size so initial sizes we need to find the ram because we need to do the calculation for that just go over here in the search go to settings now from here go to system now keep scrolling down and navigate to about now from here we you can see that we just need to go over here so this is the ram so 32 gb is the ram this is how we can find the ram because some users keep on commenting and ask me how to find the ram so this is how we can find the ram and once after that just close this now from here go over here and go to calculator because we need a calculator to do the calculations so just search for a calculator and open this now from here we need to give the initial size as well as maximum size so initial size is always 1.5 times the total ram maximum size is always three times the total ram so just go over here multiply 32 gb into 1024 so here 32 gb is the ram just multiply it with 1024 now you just need to multiply this with 1.5 that gives you 49152 so just copy this value and we need to paste it here in the initial size now we need to go for the maximum size for that we just need to close this i mean uh nail this now go to 32 gb multiply it with 1024 now multiply it with 3 because uh, 98304 is the maximum size so we just need to paste it as well 
Once after that, you just need to go for OK, then remove, uh, go back and try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to update the windows. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Now we need to go to settings. Now from here, we need to go to the system. Sorry, not windows update. Now from here, we just need to download and install the windows and we have to uh, install it and we need to play the game. I mean, make sure that you're on the latest version of Windows that is going to work for you like a magic. So update it, that is an important one. So once after that, just try to play the game. Next one, there is an important thing that is called, uh, we need to, uh, you know, uh, manually increase. I mean, we need to manually update the graphics card. For that, I'll be showing you this. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both uh, over here to the NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. So if you're on, if you're in, I mean, uh, if you're a NVIDIA users, just click on the link. Now you'll be taken to this page. Now from here, select the product type, product series, product operating system, language, etc. So hence, I'm in Windows 11, I have to select this one. Select everything and go for start search. Now over here, what happens is you will be able to find this one. That is, you'll be able to find, uh, sorry, I have to sell the respective one. So select the details of it. Now, once you set me in this, go for start search. Now over here, you need to find the latest version. That is, as you can see, the driver version 531.4, which is released on 23rd March. And we have 531.4, which is released on 21 March. So just download and install this one. After installing, restart your PC and try to play the game. If you're on the AMD, you just have to go like this, go to the graphics. Now from here, you just need to download everything, go for submit. And now from here, we just need to go for Windows 11 if you're on Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, you have to go for Windows 10 and need to download it, install this. That is what you have to do. So once you're done with this one, you just need to try to play the game that is going to work for you as well. If that is not working, there is one more step that's called increase Microsoft Visual C++. So when you click on the link in the description, that will take you to this. From here, you just need to download the x64, x86, ARM64, depends on your PC's system type. So I'll show you how to do this. So just go over here in the search. Now go to settings. Now from here, go to system at the top. Keep scrolling down and navigate to above. Now from here, what you need to do is we just need to go over here. Now from here, as you can see, the 64-bit operating system is what it is. So the system type is 64. This is how you can find your system type. And once after that, you just need to go over here. Now from here, download this. So you can find your system type as it is. Now, once you find the system type, just download this. And once after that, just install it. And that is going to work for you as well. So once after that, restart EPC and try to play the game. And that is going to work for you. And these are the possible workarounds which you have to try out when you're having an issue with squad game crashing at startup not launching, won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop and uh, in your black screen and freezing and stuttering, all these kind of issues. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.